to uh, to see how this perception uh, of my place mm -hmm. in uh, other countries and especially in Germany. Uh, you know, uh, when I hear uh, romantic comedy, uh, I think about movies uh, because in Poland, uh, mm -hmm. as in many countries, uh, the idea to earn money making movies is to make a comedy, a romantic mm -hmm. comedy. So uh, somehow touch uh, subject of love, yeah. uh, give actors funny situations, and tell about marriage, couple, uh, family, something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is uh, sometimes or often uh, it's just a name because it's, it has nothing to do with romantic comedy. That these films are uh, sometimes very boring and. They are not good, and uh, so uh, I, I I thought that maybe I can use the pattern of uh, romantic comedy as something that everybody knows, and give a kind of surprise inside the structure, and uh, to break the rules and uh, to surprise the audience. <laughs> something romantic comedy you know it's they will uh, come. yes they will come and never mind whether it's good or bad and in theater is I think something this is different because uh, we expect that the audience is intelligent and uh, they expect us to uh, to play to be to, to do something different that we say that we do and mm -hmm. so I, uh, I assume that uh, I have a intelligent audience and and spectator and uh, I, I, I uh, play with these expectations and show how to how can I uh, use romantic comedy to to tell something totally different. Uh, I, I think your figures are quite romantic uh, themselves because uh, with all their wishes and hopes, hopes and uh, uh, loving and. Uh, it's romantic, quite mm -hmm. romantic, but it's also very black humor, um, and and this combination I, I like very much, um, and and that you play with uh, so many different uh, levels of, of uh, consciousness and unconsciousness. Uh, the, the figures are quite um, uh, broken; they are not um, in their uh, they they are not. Um, Heroes, unbroken heroes. They they have their edges, and and uh, some themes I, I think uh, play on on a different. Uh, there there is a level, uh, the reality level, mm -hmm. and then there is a, a level of unconsciousness, uh, also in the figure of past. I think he's he's on the one hand the id of Elisa, and also the the super ego of Elisa. If you want to have real ro romanticism in your life uh, or, or in play, sometimes you have to be brutal. Uh, there is kind of force and uh, that you have to force the reality to achieve this effect, this, this romantic effect. and and this uh, backstage of these romantic spectacles mm -hmm. I think are full of uh, full of uh, neurotism and uh, mm -hmm. brutality and yeah. that, that was something that... Neurotism was, is yes. a good word because <laughs> Eliza for example she is a psychologist yeah. uh, and she knows something about uh, psychology and, and Freud and Fromm and all those uh, uh, famous psychologist, but when she acts, she, she is uh, without, uh, uh, she is uh, without reflection at all, she just does and acts. And I think this, um, this war between these archetypes and desires and what we want to, uh, want to what we want to achieve is is an uh, engine of a play and, uh, and, and 
yes, it, it, it concerns also this uh, fight between men and women and the model of what man mm. she is expected to have and what woman is he expected to have. And they, uh, I think, the plays about it, they, uh, they realize that they are not what they expect uh, themselves to be. <laughs> they, are, they cannot be happy because you have to organize every single detail because you feel that it, it means something. That it's not just, uh, never mind, let's do it. And you are so nervous that you feel it's something bigger than you. It's some kind of ritual. Even if it's broken ritual, even if, if it's funny, mm. uh, it is a ritual because we need uh, these special moments. I create this uh, construction of this uh, sick family Mm -hmm. uh, like an example of this, that here you have a, a contemporary couple, mm -hmm. and here you have Iraq, and they are in the same room. They have demons, and they have demons, and all these demons are together, and it's uh, grotesque and absurd, but uh, it's the truth. For me, it was funny to write a story that these demons of this big history somehow in an absurd uh, context, but they catch uh, these mm -hmm. young people and they have to react somehow, they have to repeat some patterns. Would you prefer, uh, if you can uh, have a choice, uh, the ritual or the psychology, the therapy? The ritual or, or the therapy? I, I definitely I choose ritual. <laughs> <laughs> I think so.